Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 228. What is zero order elimination? Zero order elimination basically just states that elimination is independent of time or concentration. So here it states that rate of elimination is constant regardless of what the target plasma concentration is. So for example, it's the constant amount of drug eliminated per unit time. Describe the graph of zero order elimination. The graph of zero order elimination is linear and the reason being the target plasma concentration decreases linearly with time. Give some examples of drugs that have zero order elimination. The drugs with zero order elimination includes phenytoin, ethanol, and aspirin, and aspirin at high or toxic concentrations. What is the mnemonic to help you remember these three drugs? The mnemonic just remember the word P, that's P-E-A, and that stands for phenytoin, ethanol, and aspirin. So to remember this, just remember a P is round just like zero. One thing to note here about zero order elimination is that zero order elimination is considered capacity limited elimination. What is first order elimination? First order elimination basically just means that the amount of drug that is excreted depends on the amount of drug present. So it states here that the rate of elimination is directly proportional to the drug concentration. So this is the constant fraction of drug eliminated per unit time. Describe what happens to target plasma concentration and first order elimination. The target plasma concentration will decrease exponentially with time. One thing to note here about first order elimination is that it's flow dependent elimination. Describe the graph here of zero order elimination. The graph here of zero order elimination shows that at any point in time, 2.5 units per hour is eliminated regardless of what the concentration is. Describe the graph here of first order elimination. In the graph here of first order elimination, you can see that with each half-life of a drug, half of the drug has been eliminated. So regardless of how much concentration you give of the drug, 50% is eliminated by its first half-life. So this is time dependent. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.